Let's go, Min. Good morning, Helsinki. So, two days ago on Monday, around 3 p.m., I was just about to check in into my hotel room. And the gentleman at the counter looked at me straight into my eyes and with a big ass smile and said, Welcome, Mr. Dow. How was your flight? Perhaps a hot drink to warm you up a little? And you're here for work? Do you need a second screen in your room? And if you don't have any dinner plans, we have a fantastic restaurant. You have to test it out. One last thing, by the way. You're leaving us on Friday. When you check out, do you need us to build, um, to order you a taxi to the airport? Magical, right? But also total fiction. Because businesses have lost the art of relationships. Instead, I got a QR code in my room offering me a 10% discount at my next stay. And why does it matter? It would have made me feel valued, seen, would have made, built loyalty. And for businesses, it would have built retention, upsell and cross-sell opportunities, and revenue. That's why, at Fully AI, we are building customer-facing, relationship-building AI agents across the entire customer lifecycle at every touch point, at scale, and with the human touch. It's not only more convenient for businesses and for customers, it's a must. It costs businesses loyalty and 3.7 trillion US dollars annually. Because disconnected tools and touch points lead to a very fragmented customer experience. Your CRM tracks data, but it doesn't predict needs. Your hotline and your chatbot answers questions, but it doesn't understand it and it doesn't build trust. And your email newsletter conversion rate tells you where it all drops. But at the end of the day, it doesn't build a relationship. Customers feel like a transaction. That's why at Fully AI, we solve this problem with three main pillars. Number one, with our unified AI agent, all of your tools and your infrastructure can be unified and integrated in our seamless one face to the customer and easy deployable across channels. Number two, our platform allows you to create these agents in just two minutes. And you're going to be, have actionable insights to make your product, your service, and your product, nee, your customer relationships better. And number three, most importantly, our relationship LLM, the brain and the heart of Fully AI, a stripped down, fine tuned, trained model built to drive empathy, insights, and lasting relationships. We're going to start in the hospitality industry after talking to over 200 businesses because we see there is the biggest urgency and the biggest willingness to pay. Eventually, we're going to move over to travel and then take over and expand to other customer facing industries. Um, and build, start building relationships with them. Why hospitality first? The reason why it's not only willingness to pay and urgency, because time to market is very crucial for us right now. Two of our clients liked our solution so much that they even became investors because they saw the, in the problem in the complete industry. My name is Ming Dao. Of course, I grew up in the, as a Vietnamese immigrant in the hospitality industry. My co-founder has worked at Lufthansa. My team has worked at various AI startups and also know how to build big platforms such as Oracle, Revolut, and co. Our beta is open now. I would like to invite you to join and build a relationship with us. And our platform will launch in Q2 2025. Thank you. you mean judges yeah hey awesome i guess one thing when it comes to these like chat systems and so forth it's like a almost like a search tool for the customers but how do you solve the challenge that these tools often don't have authority to actually do anything they're more like searching information for the client Mm, I think we have to differentiate that a little bit. So we are not the kind of search engine that you go onto and looking for an agent. We are more from the business side because 
we think our um, agents will be give um, businesses, the, businesses the opportunity to give it to their customers that are already coming in. So their customers have seen them because they Googled it, they put it on GPT and looking for a hotel room, and they, they're coming to the customers. It's not like a search engine, it's more like a customer agent that you are matching one customer with one agent for life. That's how we're gonna do it. Thanks, Min, really cool pitch. Uh, can you uh, walk me a little bit through the actual solution uh, uh, with, with some of, uh, so using examples, some of your early customers, you know, what kind of agent, is it more for user acquisition or is it more for the actual customer's service? Or like, can you give up a couple of examples of how yes. it works? Very, very good question because this is where we differentiate. We are not only um, at the beginning of the journey, we try to be not, um, we try to be across the entire customer life cycle. So of course we're starting at the beginning to see how we convert them from the website or from the info point or at the front desk to our, into our solution. But how can we get them to maybe from the hotel, book the restaurant hotel? Maybe they book a massage. How can we upsell and resell them? How can we give them maybe a ride to the airport? And this is like a pocket concierge in the hospitality industry as an example, what the customers are using right now. How do you guys monetize? Is it like a platform fee plus a add-on fee for anything that is being upsold to customers? How do you think about that? And also maybe um, these 580K, mm -hmm. where does it derive from? Um, so we are still pretty early in these discussions, but it's going to be a fixed SaaS model. That's for definitely number one. But we see a lot of opportunity here since um, there's a lot of reliant, um, these hospitality in industries are reliant on like booking.com and they take up to 20%. So that's why we see a small chance to get some of the percentage if we can get them away from booking.com. Um, if they stay in our um, agent solution and we rebook again in our agent solution because they built a relationship with the agent already. Hey man, uh, awesome pitch, thank you so much. Um, what's the current, big, the, what's the biggest challenge to growth? Is it the number of integrations you build per vertical you're in? Mm -hmm. Or what are the vectors, how you can create distribution here? So um, I think we have to differentiate also from industry to industry. One of the biggest challenges we've seen, like for example, in the automotive industry where we started, is that our solution touches several teams. It's the CRM team, the marketing team, the website team, and everyone kind of wants to have a say in it. So it's more a politics problem that we can't drive. So that's why uh, we are at, um, approaching more like smaller kind of markets and industries where we can have a way faster go to market and um, time to market. That is probably the way how we're gonna build our pipeline up um, and also, like for an example, we also touched um, insurance, and this is something that we're going to put way back there because this is even like legal. Everything that touches regulation is going to be um, not something we're going to do. All right, time's up. Thanks a lot, Min. Let's give a big Thank round. You.